Some may have already seen Davy's video of how quickly he mastered moving his own wheelchair. We were surprised and happy to see how much control he had despite his Lesh Nyan. When Davy was little, a simple umbrella stroller was sufficient. As his legs got longer and needed more support, the Aprica Cadence stroller was recommended. It had features meant to help special needs kids. Our PT suggested we get Davy a medical stroller to better support his fluctuating tone. The Autobach had many cool options, such as tilt-in seating, full canopy top, and a changeable forward-facing or rear-facing seat. And after he outgrew the Autobach, we got the Convey Cruiser. And here you can see his feet are bare and there was no need to pad the footrest too much nor put protection on his feet. His shoes kept falling off so we simply went without him. We have been told Lesh Nyan injuries were not progressive, but in Davy's case it is. We saw increasing self-injury over the years. A therapist encouraged us to let Davy start using a wheelchair and at first we weren't so sure that he could handle that, but um, in just a short time he showed us that he could. And here he is as a ring bearer at his sister's wedding in his zippy wheelchair. He was around 11 when he broke his first wheelchair. His legs were so strong that he would push up against footrests and break off the metal bar that held up his footrest. He would constantly need new parts as he broke them or found new places to hurt himself on. Most Lesh Nyan parents are always making some kind of DIY alteration or adaptations of some kind to their equipment for their son. And despite getting custom parts for his wheelchair, Davy was never really well seated nor comfortable. Yet he rarely complained. I finally got upset with the so-called seating specialist at Davy's hospital. Um, she refused to change out his seating, insisting that he had the proper seat despite the terrible slouching. And her solution was to put leg braces on him and tie down his feet on the footrest so he couldn't move down like for eight hours a day. I'm sure an adult would go crazy, so how much more an active child to be tied down like that? After several broken back pieces, our wheelchair vendor ordered the strongest metal reinforced back piece that he could find. And David broke that in just one week. We are here at Cannon Beach again for a family vacation. Thankfully, there is a utility road for a wheelchair to come down onto the beach. We finally found a competent seating specialist who saw Davy needed a dynamic headrest, footrest, and backrest that would flex with his movements and not be static. However, we didn't want to take the new wheelchair to the ocean for our trip to Cannon Beach. Now, I don't recommend doing what we did to this wheelchair because it will make it rusty and hard to dry. But this one was already falling apart and being replaced, so we let Davy have fun in the water. When he was little, his father simply carried him around everywhere.
In our search for the new wheelchair, we discussed the many options that Davy needed. Wide padded headrest, deeper thigh support, contoured seating, contoured back and side support, dynamic parts, recline option, etc. And this is what we came up with. Here is Davy's wheelchair. It's a Focus CR and it's made by Kia Mobility and is meant to pivot and tilt, which is great for feeding and diaper changing. And then we can actually tilt the back almost all the way flat, put down the legs almost all the way flat, and we can actually change his diaper while he's in the chair, which is a great plus for us because he's so big now, it's hard to lift him, especially when we're outside in a place where there is no lift. Um, we had to retrofit this chair a lot because, of course, with all wheelchairs, there's a lot of metal. Let's start with the headrest. This was the headrest that we special custom made for Davey. Um, it would be curved, it would be wider than normal, and it would be with extra cushion because he would constantly hit his head on the edges. And we thought that would be fine, but then he realized that if he just moved his head and threw it over the side, he could get out of the headrest and hit his head on the metal. So of course we first put um, foam cover on the metal here, and it didn't really matter because he found he could go up and over that board and try to hit himself on this metal or on this metal. So I came up with something to, which I thought would help, but it didn't. So I made these cushions with a little indent there and I fitted it over that side and over this side with the strap in between to hold it together and I thought that would work and he just took his head and pushed it off and so I had to add the next section. So I added this flexible strap to go up and over the whole thing, thinking that it would hold him from pushing it off and his head would go here. It's very flexible, so it'd be like a cradle for his head, but he still managed to throw that off. And so I had to put a cover of the whole thing <clears throat> to keep it in one unit. Davy's at Coolin. After a whole year of not being here. What do you think, Davy? You don't really care? Why? Or do you like it? All right, up in my sewing room we have a uh, pool table and I use it mostly for sewing because I'm so busy I don't get to play pool. Um, so I'm using a um, semi-neoprene material. It's stretchy and it has bulk. It's a little thick and squishy. And I'm gonna use this to cover the um, foam headpiece I'm gonna make. And this material is really nice because it looks a lot like the commercial neoprene, which Joanne does sell, but I don't really need something that thick. Um, and so it looks a little bit more like the real deal instead of just something I slapped together, which I did. <laughs> but um, it makes it look better so that the, it doesn't look so embarrassing that it's a homemade product that I've made to put on this chair. All right, I'm going to make a cover for this now and see how it turns out. Okay, first, I make a strip to go around the whole edge. Then I make the facing on this side and that side. Of course, the pocket for the slit where the head rest will go through. And here I finished the outer covering for the headgear. And these are the pockets that I made. We're gonna just shove that in there. And this is where the headrest is gonna go in. Here I've completed the foam piece that's gonna be Davy's headgear. I put two slots in there to put the uh, edge of the headrest in. I put in the zipper because it definitely will get drooled on and needs to be cleaned and washed and I added strapping and that will hold it, give it more support on the, um, on the wheelchair. Oh, there you go. 
And here is part of my styrofoam, uh, my foam graveyard stash. Old IKEA mats I found on Craigslist for free. Um, almost all this foam here I got for free or paid very little for. And here's more foam. And here is more foam and I have more, but um, it's very messy. <laughs> When I work in my sewing room, it's very messy because when I'm on a project, I don't clean until I'm done. So I'm going to cut this into this design, and then I'm going to cover it, and then we'll see how it fits on Davy's wheelchair. And this should keep his head from swaying back and hitting the bars on the sides, and also from um, just throwing his neck out of whack. I decided to make a different vest for Davy's wheelchair because the one that we had just didn't work out well. And true, we could have gotten it through um, his medical vendor, but the time it takes for the paperwork and the doctor's notes and the appointment to get fitted and all that, it would probably take at least two months to get. And so I didn't want to waste time. And to be honest, it's not that difficult of an item to make. Okay, Davy, what are we here for today? For your steroid. Your steroid injection for the hip. hip. And there is his hospital bed and gown. Received a free king size memory foam mattress off of Facebook. And I'm now going to cut it to make Davy's new wheelchair cushions. I feel really bad cutting it, but this is how thick we need it. 12 inches or so. That's going to make him a super duper custom uh, leg, leg cushion. All right. Here goes. Ooh. I'm here taking the piece of foam that I just cut off and I'm putting it on the leg rest area and I'm tracing underneath for where I'll cut the groove so that this whole piece will sink down over the bars and that will keep it more secure. Okay, I finished cutting out the groove and he needs a leg separator because his legs um, crisscross and then he pulls his hip out of the joint, which hurts a lot. That's where his thighs will go to this groove. All right, so this is going to be the final shape of the cushion. I had my other daughter sit in there to tell me how comfortable it was, and I know it looks really awful. Once I put the cover on, of course, it'll look nicer. So, it's embedded down there. His thighs will come all the way to here and then go into the groove. Let's see if I can get a further back picture of this. Of course, I made a huge mess on the floor. Here is the black denim stretch cloth that I got at Joann's, and this is what I'm going to use to cover Davy's um, cushions. It's sturdy, it's tough, and it's black. It won't show um, stains. It is very expensive making your own equipment for disabled kids because of all the money you have to spend on materials. And here's my final um, design for his head protector. Um, it's basically like a clamshell. He was able to get over every single one I made, even up to like right about this height, and he was able to get in between. So this time I sewed the bottom half to the top half, and I actually had to sew this um, this blocking onto the headrest itself so that he couldn't get that off. Um, this clamshell, I know it's big and it looks obtrusive, but honestly, it's the only thing he has not been able to overcome so far. Um, and this clamps or buckles onto the tray rest, which I'll show you in a little bit. I have reverted back to a, um, an official 
medical strap because we finally did find one that would work well for him. Um, right here, he has, um, I think this is one of those air seats. Let's see. It is one of the Rojo seats that you fill right here with air and you set him down and then make a, an imprint of his bottom in there. But it still didn't hold Davy and so I had to actually cut out another foam piece of his bottom and put it on top of that to keep him from coming out of the well. And he still is able to do that, sadly. And here is the finished leg rest that I finally made him. Um, it looks a little bit off kilter and that's because it is. Not because this foam itself is off kilter, but because the wheelchair manufacturer had placed some of the fittings a little crooked and so it looks like it's crooked the whole time. Um, so this is the place where his legs will go in like a trough to keep them separated. I know there are leg separators out there, but they did not work for Davy. He needed his whole leg um, filled. I know the one that they have made um, medically online are just like maybe 10 inches long. Davy needed the whole length. So looking from the top where his legs go in, that's the trough. And I had to make leg, hmm, how do you say it, leg covers for him because he will kick out. So here's the zipper that will have the divider cloth and the other side here for the top of the cloth. Here, I'll show you. His leg cover first has to be attached in the middle. Okay, so we zip up the middle and once his legs, let's bring in the shade a little bit here. Once his legs are in, we have two people doing this so that he'll be safe. We quickly go and zip this side up. Okay, so now both his legs are safely inside and then this goes up and over his thighs and I will show you where we attach it. Now at first we were have because everything is all black straps and black buckles, we were getting mixed up what to attach what to, so I had to color code it. So of course this bright blue goes to this bright blue, orange to orange. This, of course, goes to itself, and back here, pink to the other pink on that strap. And this long strap here, this goes all around the whole wheelchair and snaps together in the back. This is if um, we don't want Davy to be um, pulling it down, but if we don't need this, I just roll it up and put it in this little pouch on the inside, so it's just a, a hip and leg cover. And since he slouches out of his chair, we decided the best thing we could do for his back to give him support is to put a really cushy pillow down where he would normally leave a gap. And so he will slouch in there, but at least with support. Here I've completed the cutout for the frame. And we place it in like that. It's gonna be really snug. Then I'm gonna put a uh, cover on top of this. All right, got the form. Put it down around it, and now for the cover. And then it's going to Velcro to itself so that it could be removable for washing. Now, Davy does have a tray made by the manufacturer, but it's um, made of hard plastic and metal, and he was hurting himself on that. So instead of just, um, and it was really heavy, so I wanted to make something really light. So of course you've seen um, my PVC and foam tray. Well, this is just the foam tray with the cover. Um, we found out that he was swinging his arms and hurting himself and others so much, so I had to put on, um, uh, what do you call these little arm arm holders so he'd slide his hands in there and that would keep him from hitting others well it didn't work quite as well because it was too um, 
loose, so I had to make another one on the other side. This time, he would crisscross his arms because that's the most comfortable. I notice when you sit down um, and put a tray under your arms, people tend to cross their arms more. So he would have go like this. And with arm straps and arm guards and stuff, he would have a little um, D-ring at the end. And so if he really needs more safety, we would just um, use these hooks at the end to attach it to his um, glove or his sleeve. And that will keep him really safe and secure. So this will fit over those um, armrest holes. So the padded armrest or tray is now on and you can see how this clamshell hooks onto that so that he can't dislodge this off. And he's tried many times. He has tried throwing his body up and over, but he found out he couldn't. And as with Lesh and I hand, once, once they try something and it doesn't work, they quickly give up on it because they're looking for other ways. And so far it has been Davy proof up to now. Um, it's very comfortable for him. I know that it looks really big and it looks cumbersome, but um, his comfort is the most important and I know it looks like a tank. I mean, how many wheelchairs look like this? It's, sometimes I feel a little bad that I couldn't streamline it more, um, but I've tried. I mean, anything less was dangerous for Davey and his dad the footrest was just pure metal. I don't understand why makers would do that. He took the um, plywood and screwed it down to the bottom and added a huge chunk of foam and I covered it with this. And of course, everything I make is basically removable and washable. So even the, the leg trough that I made here, that is completely removable. I mean, it's a little hard, but it definitely can be done. Hygiene is really important because um, they're diapered and uh, so anyhow, this is the final version of his wheelchair. And again, we have the um, Focus CR. Let me show you how it tilts. This little lever here will make the whole thing tilt in place. I'll show you. So tilt so that he's actually able to rest and sleep if he needs to. And this here, I don't want to do it because you need both hands. These two levers here, they make the, mm, the frame recline flat, practically flat. And another thing is this leg here. You could pull it up so it's straight. And then with the lever underneath here, you release it so that it comes down. So he could be sitting like a normal mm, straight up and down. 90 degree chair, which is not good for him, or you can do a recline. So for his tone, we basically keep him reclined. Let's see. We basically keep him about this angle. So he's very comfy. And it takes up a lot of space, so we have to be careful um, the places that we choose to go, that there are big doorways and open spaces. So the zippered leg divider here has um, been able to keep Davy from crisscrossing his legs over, which has caused his hip to become dislodged and um, in pain. So this is the best we've been able to come up with in terms of helping his um, hip abduction. His deteriorating hip is going to have to be addressed one day. Um, we're helping it by um, keeping his legs separated, keeping him well cushioned. These wheels are, uh, what is it? It's uh, solid. It can't be flattened, which is really nice because we've had that a couple times. And so far it has held up to Davy's um, uh, dystonic movements. He has not been able to break the back rest because every time he moves back, um, it's dynamic and, and it moves with him. Same for the foot rest.